Hello everybody, this is Blastertoad here, and I guess it's time to make an amendment. So, in episode 3, when we're making the context button with the menu, so this pops up. Uh, to make the menus... Stupid ass trucks. To make the menus go away, like that, uh, I actually ended up using a node which is in Rama's Victory plugin. So it's not on our character, sorry. It is on our switch. So if we open our switch, this here, remove all widgets of class, is um, it's actually from the Victory plugin by Rama. Fantastic plugin, I highly recommend it. I often use his stuff, but it's not something that comes in vanilla Unreal. So I'm gonna show you a fix to uh, this here. Okay, so first things first, I need to demonstrate something else. So we are going to come in, or no, we're, we're going to do the fix and then I'll show you why it doesn't work, and then I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so, when we walk into our box, we do our casting to our player, setting our flags, and then we make this dialog box. Okay, when we make this dialog box, we're going to need to save a reference to it. So. On this return value here, we're going to right click and we are going to promote to variable. We are going to name this variable. Uh, actually, you know what? We're not going to do that because that gives us the wrong type of variable. So we're just going to make a new variable here. So delete this one. New variable. We're going to call this widget ref for widget reference. And that's exactly what we're going to set it as. So we are going to set it as the type widget right here and a reference to a widget okay we are going to set that widget and then we're going to pull here and then we're going to get this widget right there and then instead of this remove all widgets of class which again awesome awesome powerful little node but it's not in vanilla unreal so we're going to use some vanilla setup here uh, so with our new widget variable here we are going to pull off and we are going to remove from parent okay and we're going to plug this in and this is instead of removing all dialogues it's just going to remove the specific one that we've created. Okay, so compile, save, and now we can go out, and we can come in, and we can walk away, and, but, Blaster Toad, it didn't go away. What's wrong, Toad? Okay, so this is what I was about to say that we need to do another fix. So, off this, we are going to do a print string. Okay, and it says hello. So when we come in here, we get hello, hello in the top corner. Actually, let's make this more visible. So we're going to make that stay for 10 seconds. And we are going to make it like bright danger red. Okay, compile, save. Now you see there popping up in the left of our play window is hello, 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 hello. Every time we walk into the box, it prints two hellos, okay? So it's actually making two of these widgets. And we are only removing the last one saved. So to fix that, we are going to, well, we're gonna encompass all that in the comments, but we're gonna move that down. And we are going to do a do once, okay? And this little node is going to tell us to only do a thing once. And we are only going to do once the making of the widget. And we are going to come here and we're going to print string again. Just so that we can demonstrate this. Again, danger red. And then after we remove the widget, 
we are going to reset our do once. Okay? So when we walk into the box, we set everything we need on our player, and then we make one widget. And we make sure we're only making one by only doing this once. Then when we leave the box, we remove that one widget, and we reset this so that every time we walk into the area, we can see that. And you can see the hello is only showing once now, instead of showing twice. So that is our fix. For the removing of the widget. So in case you all were having issues with that, which you probably were if you didn't have Rama's plugin, that will give us a fix. So again, off the end of our widget, we are storing this return value as a variable. And then we are going to get that return value and remove it from parent. Okay. And that's it. So hopefully this helps you out. Anybody having troubles with that episode? Uh, sorry for the confusion. And yeah, I hope you continue to enjoy the series. Bye for now.